Hello everyone and welcome to the second video in my ongoing series celebrating the 8 year anniversary of the Five Nights at Freddy's series. Today I am going to be playing through Five Nights at Freddy's 2, which is considered one of the better installments in the game series. It certainly introduced a lot of new things. New animatronics, new game mechanics, and new extras. I am going to go ahead and go into night one on Five Nights 2 and see if I can get all the way to night five without dying. I find that to be highly dubious based on how much the uh, later nights kind of rely on random number generation. Dumb luck in other words. But we'll see how good my dumb luck happens to be tonight. I have a feeling what I expect uh, now, to see are a lot of animatronics trying to peel my skin off. The old you know. uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure you, Badbury Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, faith. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility, they don't have to walk around during the day. That sounds that safe. <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Hey, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, uh, I have a I feeling they'll be all up on me all night long. About it, kink. Uh, uh, yeah, kinks is one way of putting it. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about Lucky him. conditions. Uh, we switched him over to day shift. So, yeah, hey, I can kind of right. imagine what those well, conditions might have been. Oh, you don't say! Now, oh, that, that would never happen. Uh, oh, yeah, should be. So, while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So, when it's quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in their case, back to your office. So our temporary solution is that there's a meat box over by the fire counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remote. Yeah, I gotta call bull on that. If that theory were true, then they would never leave the prize counter. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about the robot thinking he was an endoskeleton without a costume on, and wanting to stuff you into the suit. Mm. Okay, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can yeah, put it on problem solved. And leave it on for as long as you want. So long as you don't need to check the cameras or flash a flashlight. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quartz modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. Uh, yeah, I noticed uh, that. Hey, you have a light, oh, and right. even though you're flashlight, you're out of power. Where'd you go, Bonnie? Cannot. Where'd you so go? don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the oh. music box wound oh. up. Oh. Hi, Bonnie. Have a good it's night, and I'll talk to you Interesting tomorrow. to see you, too. I, I was going to say good, but I, I... Yeah, yeah, that's not good. Go away. So when he was talking about that old location, I kind of can't help but wonder if he's talking about the one from uh, the Silver Eyes novel. Yeah, 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 I know. The book canon and the game canon are not the same, but they do inspire one another. 
the uh, missing children incident in the Silver Eyes novel took place in 85 at what would be an old location from this location. Oh, someone's coming to visit me. Yep, yep, it's Bonnie. So my working theory is that the missing children incident happened in 85. The old location was then left to rot. Uh, it's a nasty reputation of what happened. Followed the company around. They rebranded, making everything all super friendly. They moved the animatronics to this location. That's what the Withers are. And then after the events of this game, the animatronics are then moved to a new location that they try and start over at again. And I believe that one to be the location that they find in the mall in 1995 when the uh, characters grow up and return to Hurricane. As for why the grown-ups don't see that the animatronics look different, since they should look different going from uh, the original versions that they would have seen when they were children to first the withered versions, and then the ones that we see in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, it could just simply be that, you know, the eyes of a child remember differently. After all, the uh, designs of the animatronics in Five Nights 1 aren't terribly different from the ones in, uh, or at least what the classic ones probably looked like before they became withered. So they might just simply misremember that that's how they always looked. And then obviously the location that they tried after this didn't work. Sometime between 91, when Five Nights 1 takes place, and 95, when the kids return, they gave up and they boarded it up and built the mall around it. which is in where we find the animatronics in uh, 1995 with Silver Eyes Part 1. Obviously some of the details of that are going to be different because the uh, uh, hello, cannons hello. aren't the same. Uh, see, I told you your first night wouldn't be a problem. You're a natural. Uh, by now I'm sure you've noticed the older models. Yeah, I noticed the older models. Yeah, I noticed the older models. Uh, those are from the previous location. We just use them for parts now. The idea at first was to repair them. Uh, they even started retrofitting them with some of the newer technology. But they were just so ugly, you know? And the smell. Uh, uh, so the company decided to just go in a whole new direction and make them super kid-friendly. Uh, those older ones shouldn't be able to walk around. But <laughs> if they do, the whole shouldn't pretty head to. trick should work on them too. So, whatever. Uh, I love those old characters. Uh, did you ever see Foxy the Pirate? Oh, wait, Foxy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah Foxy. Foxy. Uh, hey, listen. Uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, I'm not sure if the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason he activates during the night, and you see him standing at the far end of the hall, uh, just flash your light at him from time to time. Those older models will always get disoriented with bright lights. It would call the system restart or something. 
They get me suspicious when they leave me alone like this for an extended period of time. It makes me feel like they're all gonna come and rush me any second. I wonder where they went back to. Oh, there's Freddy. Keeping that music box wound up later on in the night is is an is an ordeal. They do not want to let up at all. Better enjoy these slower nights while I can, because they do not last. Yeah. Freddy, but even fully intact, you still don't look nearly as menacing as your withered counterpart. You would have decided that you want to come and see me too, didn't you? <laughs> Almost messed up right there. I'm 
almost down with the second night. Just waiting on 6 a.m. down three to go three much more difficult nights oh yeah and the, the super creepy dream sequences that flash forward to the five nights one game makes you wonder is this a flash forward or is the main gameplay a flash a flashback If it is a flashback, then does that mean that we're playing as whoever ends up in the uh, uh, Freddy suit in the first game? I mean, that can't be true because it's a child that's inside the Freddy suit. Or at least it's supposed to be a child. Then again, we already know that multiple spirits can inhabit these, these suits. Maybe the reason why Freddy is so strong in the first game is because he's got more than one ghost pilot in him. Probably not. I was just curious. Like I said, he was always my favorite. Then again, they tried to remake Mario Party for the first one was too scary, so they redesigned him to be more kid-friendly instead of kid's code. To keep the toddlers entertained, you know. But kids these days just can't keep their hands to themselves. The staff literally had to put Foxy back together in every ship. Eventually they just stopped trying and left them some kind of take apart, put back together attraction. Now he's just a mess of parts. I think the employees are working on this just the mangle. Uh, oh hey, before I go, uh, I wanted to ease your mind about any rumors you might have heard lately. Uh, you know how these local stories come and go and seldom mean anything. I can personally assure you that whatever is going on out there, however tragic it may be, has nothing to do with our establishment. It's just all rumor and speculation, people trying to make a buck, you know. Uh, our guard during the day has reported nothing that you and he's on watch on opening so close. Okay, well anyway, hang in there and I'll talk with you tomorrow. So, a lot of people generally seem to accept that the toy animatronics aren't haunted like the, uh, the uh, withered animatronics are. They just have programming glitches that make them attack you at night. I, however, believe that even if they don't have spirits stuffed inside them like the withereds do, they are still animated by Remnant. Because remember, they said that the original animatronics were used as spare parts for the toy animatronics. The parts that they took off the original animatronics most likely have been infected by agony or remnant or whatever. And that little bit of haunted metal is probably enough to give life to the entire animatronic. So even though they don't have a spirit guiding them, they still have some form of life. Well, unlife anyway. Although I do think it's more likely that they simply do actually have more children stuffed inside them. If not stuffed inside them, remnant for their murder used to construct them. I mean, if you think about it, what kind of power source would they have had available 
1987 that would have been capable of driving animatronics like this. Even with today's technology, that's kind of a big ask. Having a supernatural fuel source would explain their mobility. Obviously, based on what we learn later on in uh, Help Wanted, we can't really trust these games too far for what lore they seem to offer. Well, I guess I'm going to be starting Night 3 over again. Yeah, yeah, I, I messed that one up. That was my fault. Well, I doubted I was going to get a deathless run, so let's try that again. Ah, Withered Cheek is horrifying. I think she's the most horrific looking out of all of the original animatronics. Well, actually, of all the animatronics in this game. I mean, I think she's even creepier looking than the marionette. I don't know why I'm even checking the lights. Nothing should technically be moving yet. Now they are. Probably Foxy. Yep, Foxy. Hey, Foxy. Foxy, 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 go away. It's kind of hard to be afraid of the jump scares in these games anymore, though. I think at this point, practically all of us have seen them at least a dozen times. They're telegraphed fairly well so that you end up, you know, expecting them. They don't come out of the blue like a jump scare really should. Maybe it would be a little more scary if this was my first time playing through it. But it is not. Not even close. Wow, it's really slow right now. Oh, I, I spoke too soon. Spoke way too soon. Ah, there he is. Withered Freddy. Definitely far more intimidating looking than his toy counterpart. Ah, you're not getting me this time, Chica. 
You got me last time, not this time. Oops. Did not mean to click that. Someone's decided that they want to come and visit. I wonder who it is. I'm not going to waste time to check and find out. Mr. Fazbear. Must be look, looking in a mirror, huh, Freddy? See, he's just admiring how much of a handsome bear he is. Second now, one of them's gonna hop out of the vent at me. I just know it. So you can go back to your home. Don't want you here. Much better that time. Alright, night four, here we go. Right after this creepy, creepy, creepy dream. At least I assume it's a dream. I mean, you could say that it's a dream, but it wouldn't make sense for him to be dreaming of animatronics that don't exist at this point in the timeline. I bet that it's me message is referring directly to Freddy. Seeing as how you're doing that from his perspective. I thought you'd get the hang of it. 
Okay, so uh, just to update you, uh, there's been somewhat of an investigation going on. Uh, we may have had to close for a few days. I don't. Uh, I want to emphasize though that it's really just a precaution. Fastware uh, Entertainment denies any wrongdoing. Of course they do. These things happen sometimes. Yeah, murder. Um, murder happens sometimes. Just keep an eye on things and I'll keep you posted. Uh, just as a side note though, uh, try to avoid eye contact with any of the animatronic side of the camp. Uh, someone may have tampered with their facial recognition systems. We're not sure. But the characters have been acting very unusual, almost aggressive towards the staff. They interact with the kids just fine, so when they encounter an adult, they just stare. Uh, anyway, hang tight, go all past. Yeah, hang I know high. exactly what that's like. That's practically all these things do is just stare at me. Well, you know, that and try and, uh, try and stuff me into a Fezzer suit. Mangle's on her way to come and see me. Yeah, and now I think she's traveling through the, uh, through the vent for me. Oh, yep, there she is. Oh, she came at me really fast. Yeah, it starts to get real intense after night three. <sighs> that was almost really bad. I'm guessing Bonnie's about to pop up at me. Yep, I was right. There is Mr. Bonnie. on her way again. Really, I should come to expect no less at this point. No Kentucky Fried Human for you, Big Bird.
hopefully that was fast enough. I think it was fast enough. Yeah, I really need to wind this music box up. Hopefully it'll let me. That was so much fun! Go away! You creep me out! Stop looking at me, go away! Okay, I'm just gonna stare at you directly. Alright, fine, I'll do it. To me, Luigi. piece of juicy lore. Yeah, Matt Pat must have lost his mind when he heard that. Fun fact, it was uh, Matt Pat that got me into this. I had I had actually kind of always discounted the Five Nights at Freddy's games before because I uh, you know, like some people kind of thought that they were, you know, horror for babies. Which is, I think, something similar to what he said in his first video on it. Honestly, I avoided it for a long time until I saw a video, Game Theory, uploaded about the uh, complete Five Nights at Freddy's timeline. I figured, you know, I'll go ahead and watch this one get the story, and then I won't have to worry about the series ever again. Oh, how wrong I was. How wrong I was.
Oh, they are not gonna let me wind this music box up, are they? They are coming for me. I will admit, you look a whole lot creepier when you do that. <laughs> uh, go away, Bonnie. Go away. Come on, 6 a.m. Please, 6 a.m. So tall and imposing, Mr. Freddy. I wonder if that's why people keep drawing him with huge muscles. Big Daddy Freddy. That was terrifying, especially the last part of Night 5. That was horrible. 
Ooh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the game for here, and uh, next time I'll be tackling Five Nights at Freddy's 3, which has a very, very slow opening, as you all are very well aware, seeing as how not a thing happens the first night. All right, until next time, like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe, not subscribe. Jeez. Later.